Hey everyone, Kachi Vestry back to another video for you today. So I think it's time we should revisit a very, very good company and stock called Spotify. I think the first time I talked about this was right after the Joe Rogan acquisition. Since then, the stock has actually, I think, more than doubled, then went down a bit, etc. Doesn't really matter. The business itself has become much better, has grown tremendously. They've made a couple of acquisitions as well. A couple of them we will be talking about in this video as well as their partnership with Shopify. But first things first, and that's let's look at the top 10 charts for most downloaded apps in October. And what do you know? Spotify is number 10 here. I think it's been a couple of years since they entered the top 10 of the combined Google Play and iOS App Store. And you probably noticed that most of the apps in here are Facebook owned apps. And this directly reflects the growth of the business as shown in the earnings report. But first, let's talk a bit about their partnership with Shopify, because I do think this is an amazing partnership for a company, but for the artists as well. So Spotify meets Shopify, turn your artist profile into a virtual merch table. Before you had to go through all of those labels, etc. if you really wanted to become successful or if you wanted to start your career as an artist. Now through this partnership, you can take it to the next level and it's much more accessible to everyone. So they say here that for artists, the fan support is their lifeblood. That's why the Spotify for Artists team is focused on developing new tools and resources to help artists turn listeners into fans, fans into super fans, and ultimately, earn more, not just through music, but also merch, ticketing, tipping, fan-first emails, and more. Now, with regards to ticketing and tipping, tipping is a bit like on Twitch and on YouTube, the super chat, but as well as raising money for maybe a project or something like that. And ticketing is actually a new thing that has been launched on Spotify. You can basically launch your own event on that and then sell tickets specifically for that virtual event. And now let's talk a bit about the recent acquisition of Findaway. I've been talking about this for a while. I really want Spotify to push even more into audiobooks. I really don't mind paying a bit more for my subscription on Spotify if that means that I can use that service as an audible type of service as well. And this is exactly what they are trying to do right now with yet another great acquisition that will help them further push towards that goal of becoming the world's leading and the one-stop shop for everything audio related. So Spotify is going to acquire the leading audiobook platform, Findaway. Now Findaway works across the entire audiobook ecosystem with a platform and offerings that serve authors, publishers, and consumers of this rapidly growing industry, which is expected to grow from $3.3 billion dollars to $15 billion by 2027. In addition to offering the largest catalog of distributed titles, Findaway has actively worked to democratize audiobooks through leading technology tools available for independent authors to create and bring their stories to life. We plan to build on Findaway's significant innovation in the space and we're going to supercharge its growth, bringing everything Spotify knows around personalization and discovery while also innovating on format, delivery, creator tools, and more. If I were a shareholder of Spotify, this would be extremely, extremely bullish. Think of what they're doing right now, Spotify with music, with great recommendations. They said it that in the future, you won't really need to search for new music. Spotify will know exactly what you're looking for before you even know it. Now imagine they can do the same thing, but with books or audiobooks that would be incredibly, incredibly valuable. And now before we jump into the earnings report, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 free stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Now, Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 4x. So all you have to do is go to fool.com forward slash couch investor to get your free 10 stock picks now. All right, so the Q3 numbers were actually very good. Most of them beat their guidance. If not, they were towards the high end of their own guidance. Now, for the total monthly active users, 
those came in at 381 million that's up 19 percent year over year and four percent quarter over quarter now for premium subscribers and ad supported ones those grew 19 percent as well and the same quarter over quarter four and five percent respectively now revenue grew 27 percent year over year to 2.5 billion euros and that was at the top end of their guidance range due to significant strength in advertising premium revenue grew 22 percent year over year to 2.178 billion euros while ad supported revenue was particularly strong growing 75 percent year over year to 323 million euros now if we're having a look at their gross margins those came in at 26.7 percent above the top end of their guidance and reflecting nearly 200 basis points of year over year expansion now yes quarter over quarter it is down a little bit but the year over year growth is because of the improvement reflected on a favorable revenue mix towards podcast marketplace activity improved music advertising operating leverage and other costs of revenue efficiencies for example payment fees and streaming delivery costs which were partially offset by high non-music and other content costs and publishing rate increases so overall as for a quick overview i believe this quarter was a very good one i think if you're a spotify shareholder you're very happy with what you're seeing as for the company and the way management is leading the company through those difficult times i think those recent acquisitions and partnerships will be great for the long-term future of the company the free cash flow also grew 190 percent quarter over quarter yes year over year it's still down a little bit but it's great to see that they're going back up with their free cash flow. Now looking at the technicals real quick, we can see here that $300 is a clear resistance point. Right now the RSI sits at around 60, so not that high, not that low either. As for the MACD, we can see here that we are in a downtrend. If we can see that that blue line here starts to go up, Maybe that's an indication of forming an upward trend. The red line is the 20 day moving average, blue 200 and the green 50 if you were asking. It's really good that it rebounded off that 20 moving average here. Now let's see if we can continue going maybe a bit sideways and then try and break out of that resistance at $300. So to conclude, as someone that is not a Spotify shareholder but is a daily user of the service, whether it's music or podcast i really like the direction that the company is going but if you are a spotify shareholder and user please let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on what's been happening with the company and the recent quarter and that will be it for this video if you liked it consider leaving a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel maybe hit that subscribe button as always guys take care stay safe and see you all in the next video bye bye